Okay, so the kinetic video that I'm working on is a lyrics one to go along with the song. So in Adobe After Effects, you're going to set up a composition. It's just your sequence of where everything's going to be going. Okay, some buttons to look at is this little one over here is the RAM preview. That's going to make you view everything in real time. So let's take a look at this real quick. This is just rendering everything that I have up so far. You can see this is every piece of text is its own layer. You can see this down here on the left side. Now I'm having some glitches here, so it's not necessarily lining up, but what I wanted to do was just get the words in and get them somewhat set up. So down here is the timeline, and you're going to see these are my words in the timeline, and they're all going to look like staircases all the way down. So for my next set of words, I believe I need another O O O sequence. But let's see if I can find. Here it is, where it lines up. So my next sequence is going to start right after here. I need another set of eight O O Os. So what you would do is you can use your little pick here um, for your timeline. You go up to your text tool and you just type it out. You go back to the arrow and you can move this wherever you want it to be. So if I need 8, I'm going to hit the arrow again, hit the text, and do another one. Hit the arrow again, the text, do another one. You're going to place these wherever you want on the screen, and you can move these around at any given point. So I know I need four down and then four up. Now, in your text, you can come over here into your character box, and you can choose your font, your size, your kerning, um, everything that has to do with typography, the color. Um, like I said, I just want to go ahead and get my text up there so that way I can actually go through and do effects and everything once I have all of the words done. It's a little more time consuming than anything to get the words up and to figure out how to get them placed. Um, I might not do a whole song um, for what you're doing with the project or I don't know if you have to have sound but I would just do maybe even like the chorus of a song or even record, you know, something small, something easy. And let's just kind of get these to match up a little bit. Okay, so once I have them up here, you're going to see that these red lines down here are the same all the way across and we can't have that because otherwise it'll come up at the beginning of the video. So you can click on it and hold control, select them all, let go of control, and then you're going to see this arrow come up to slide it sideways. So this end is going to go where you want it to start in the timeline. The longer you get into the video, the longer it's going to take to go ahead and slide over there. 
hold down the mouse button when you're sliding it over and I can see that it's already starting to get close to where I need it to be okay so here we are so now I can just line it up where my little pick is and drop it down here at the bottom this is where you can zoom in on your timeline here the little mountain range okay you take this all the way to the end and you're gonna drag this over to where you want those to stop coming up and the same thing it's gonna take a little while to get there And I should be coming up on it in a second. There we go. So these I'm going to say, you know, it's a couple seconds for her to say the oh, oh, oh. Now click off so that way all of them aren't highlighted. And then you're going to say, okay, you're going to start out with the first O. Oh. The second O oh shouldn't pop up for, you know, a minute second. It should all be in order. And the hardest part of this is basically just listening and lining up over and over, at least when you do it with a saw. So you'll see this blue part means that it's not rendered and there's some gaps here. And I'm not even sure how it's going to line up, but let's click the RAM preview and get back to the, to the point you're going to see it again. It's going to go ahead and show all of your words up on the screen that you typed in one by one. And once it goes through them all, then it will actually play the music. Um, one thing that you will remember is you're not going to actually export this out with the music in After Effects. Um, you would want to basically pull the song into Premiere Pro and then pull in your composite video from After Effects into Premiere and line it up. basically a tedious thing but there is no no easy way to make a fast edit or a fast composite you know really just take your time and just get into a zone when you're piecing it together I never realized how long the song was until you start typing out every single word that is within the song Remember to save your work as you go, because when you get to a certain spot and you lose everything, it is very frustrating. And it's jamming up in certain areas, so I'm going to have to go back and look at that and see what it is. I'm not sure if this pick being here stopped me from actually rendering the new part that I put in. This pick here must have not rendered it out all the way up to that point. But basically, you know, that's all it is, is just typing in the text, giving it the start point, 
the end point and then making them pop up at different intervals. Um, once you get your text in, then you can come over here into effects and presets. Um, not really sure um, as far as adding the effects, how to get them to start and stop, but I would say that that's something to look at when you have all of your text in. I know when you switch down um, on the timeline here, you can see where you can set your key points to start and stop things. So if you wanted to make one of the O's get really big, you know, you could set a scale key point here, key it in, and then set your ending point and transform it into what you want. But at least getting up the words just to pop up and down is you know, great enough on its own there to get it to start and stop and, you know, have each thing come up and play. And as you can see, scrubbing through this, you know, each one pops up at its own little separate interval here. And then the rest is just matching it up. Now I have to minimize out of everything here just to get to my done button and just play with that for a little bit and try that out.